What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad 2. Today we continue our way through the Palencia Tower, attempting to rescue the people of Tovio. So, last time we uh, rescued Poco. So I don't know why he's in front of Ark. I guess maybe because he's a lower or a higher level. Uh, I'm not really sure. Let's head in here. Hmm. So perhaps this switch over here is actually supposed to be down. Uh, why are you asking that? Seems kind of redundant, I mean... I don't know. That seems to have worked. So what do we got here? First and foremost, there's a chest. Gotta get that. With a life nut. So, let's give that to Elk. And continue on this way. And lightning is summoning monsters. Okay then. Well, uh, let's start off by... Let's go with speed. I like being fast. Uh, I don't want Deke Beck to go too far. I believe this is actually our first fight with the uh, Farangi, which didn't do a whole lot of damage. Ark, on the other hand, just like took about a bajillion damages. Oh, well, these things are level 60, no wonder. Uh, I guess I better heal him up. Uh, let's actually just keep him in the corner and... Yeah, let's go with Firestorm. It's guaranteed to hit, and against the level 60 it might do more damage. As would seem to be the case. All of a sudden, this fight got a whole lot harder. Well, not all of a sudden, but... The problem is now, Poco is the only one with any real offense, and yet I'm probably going to need him to be healing. So, yeah, that's kind of problematic. Well, Elk only got hit once, so I can probably afford to do some damage with Poco. Um, actually, he knows... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a normal, like, cross attack thing that he knows this time around. Because in the previous Arc the Light game, the only attack spell he had was, a uh, Lion... Lion Drum. And that just attacks straight in a line straight in front of you, so... This time he knows Orchestra Hit, which... There's another attack that hits kind of in a in the, your typical cross pattern, so that's handy to have. Uh, I guess I might as well go like this. I like how the thunder just comes out of Diekbeck's helmet, like the the little top of there. So, might as well use the lion's drum on this guy. Oh, I can jump over stuff now. Nifty. I might as well go for level 2 Firestorm. I need to go for level 2 because level 1 would not reach far enough. Down he goes. So what, there's only one left? 
Wow, another level up for Elk. I guess that's what happens when you kill off a level 60. Yeah, I think they're fine for now. Bang! No, not windshield. I might as well attack him. I do want to get my sword proficiency up for Elk. Okay, well that's that. And up here is another chest with a magic sprig. So I might as well use that on Elk as well. So, let's see here. What the? Well, that was unexpected. So it would seem. That would be a good place to start. So, I gotta hit the, these switches. And then if we go this way, those switches. Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? Come down this way. Pretty sure I only have to hit that switch on the left. I feel like something's missing here. Maybe not. Hit both those switches. Aha! Here we go, that's what I was thinking of. Over here... That's... The exit? Uh, I guess so. I was looking for something else. I guess it's back this way. Ah, yeah, okay, there we go. So it is open after all. Over here is the magic canceller, which I imagine cancels magic or increases magic defense actually increases normal defense by a pretty good amount, too. So, I don't think Elk is the one to put that on, but... For, it's a good replacement for someone um, who is using a shoulder armor. For Elk, I would probably prefer to have the... Uh, who's it? What's it? Uh, attack power from the Revival Dust. At least for now. So this door opens the way forward, and I'm pretty or that switch, and I'm pretty sure this switch just makes it so walking on this doesn't plummet you into the depths anymore. So come back this way, and now we can head up here. Oh great. That would be nice. Well, aren't you greedy? Why is this stone jackal glowing? And more guys. Great. In space, no one can hear you scream. What are you basing that on? I mean, I guess only the monks are level 60. Uh, I should probably, well, let's start off with Speed Ocarina. I need to heal, but if I get Speed Ocarina up, uh, I should have more turns than the enemy, so I should get the chance to heal somewhere in there. Because as it is, uh, 
I would only... Like, if I healed, I would most likely just end up healing every turn for, like, the rest of eternity. And this stuff would take forever to die. Boom! Fire! Seems like this stuff is gonna take forever to die anyways. Why is the Stone Jackal robbing my MP? Bang! Symbols! Ouchie. Okay. Uh, now let's go with the heal. Jeez, we're tight packed here. So that should make this a good opportunity for magic! There's also uh, no reason to hold back with your magic here. There's a heal point fairly soon, I believe. That was actually a pretty good hit. I'll just hit these guys since uh, that's hitting three targets. Well, one of them is dead now, so there's that. Elk doesn't even need the counter or the revenge bandana anymore. Bash you with my symbols. Good job, you got yourself killed by a counterattack. And hit you with a lion drum. Let's stab you in the back. That was actually pretty good damage considering he's level 60. Kind of out of MP here. So I sure hope there's a heal point. Okay, well, I don't know about attacking this guy, so I'm just gonna go with a lion drum. Because I know that's gonna kill him. And voila! And the walls magically reopen themselves. Elk learned something. What did he learn? Explosion? Well, I think that's what he learned. Maybe? I don't know. Whatever the case may be, we'll, we will continue our way forward on the next episode of Let's Play Arc the Lad 2. Catch you later!